Assume mop level three, part one, Don mask assembly. A, stop breathing and close eyes. B, remove helmet, put helmet between legs above knees or hold rifle between legs and place helmet on the muzzle. If helmet falls, continue to mask. C, take off glasses and place in helmet if applicable. D. Open the mask carrier with non-firing hand. Nine second time standard starts. E. Grasp, grasp the mask assembly with firing hand and remove it from the carrier. F. Place chin in the chin pocket and press the, the face piece tight against the face. G. Hold mask assembly tightly against the face. H. Grasp the harness tab. Pull, pull the harness over and down the head as far as possible. Ensure the head harness is centered on the crown of the head and the temple straps are approximately parallel to the ground. I. Grasp the loose end of cheek straps one at a time and pull until strap feels tight. Note, both straps should be approximately equal in length when complete. The temple and forehead straps have already been adjusted during fitting. Do not tighten. Part two, clear mask assembly. A. Seal the outlet disc valve by placing one hand over the outlet valve cover assembly. B. Blow out hard to ensure that any contaminated air is forced out around the edges of the face piece. 3. Seal mask assembly. A. Cover both filter inlet ports with the palms of your hands and breathe in. B. Ensure mask assembly collapse against face. C. Resume breathing. 9 second time standard stops. Four, give the alarm, shout gas, gas, gas. Gas, gas, gas. And B, give the appropriate hand and arm signal per unit SOP. Five, close mask carrier. Six, don the mask hood if applicable. No, if the soldier is using mask in conjunction with joint service lightweight integrated suit technology, JS list, he or she skips this step step, as the mask lacks a hood because it is built into the JS list. Be careful in pulling the hood on the hood because it could snag and tear on the buckles of the head harness. Be careful not to break the face piece seal when pulling protective hood over your head. A. Place hands under protective hood, stretch elastized portion, and raise protective hood up and over filters. Carefully pull excess protective hood material over head, neck, and shoulders. Grasp underarm straps. Bring the male end of each underarm strap and fasten to female. Leave underarm straps loose enough to allow decontamination. Next part is assume mop level four. One, seek overhead cover or use a poncho for protection against further contamination. Put helmet down. Overhead cover, Two, poncho. Decontaminate your hands, face, and inside of your mask. A. Remove one RSDL packet from your carrying pouch. Safety. Avoid contact with eyes and wounds. If contact with eyes and wounds occurs, rinse with water as soon as possible. B. Tear it open quickly at any notch. C. Remove the applicator pad from the packet and save the packet as the remaining lotion can be added to the applicator pad if required. D. Thoroughly scrub the exposed skin of your hand, palm, and fingers with the applicator pad. Note, the applicator pad can be used from either side and may be gripped in any manner, allowing the applicator pa pad to be applied to the skin. E. Switch the applicator pad to the other hand and repeat the procedure. F. Stop breathing, close eyes, grasp mask beneath chin, and pull mask away from chin enough to allow one hand between the mask and your face. Hold the mask in this position. G. Thoroughly scrub the exposed skin of your face with lotion from the applicator pad. H. Thoroughly scrub across your forehead. I. Beginning at one side, scrub up and down 
across your cheeks, nose, chin, and closed mouth. Avoid ingesting. J. Scrub under the chin from the, lo from the ear along the jawbone to the other ear to coat your skin with lotion. K. Turn your hand over and scrub the inside surfaces of the mask that may touch your skin. Be sure to include the drinking tube. Note. Do not apply lotion to the lens of the protective mask. The RSDL may cause loss of transparency. L. Keep the applicator. M. Seal your mask immediately, clear it, and check it. N. Use the applicator in any remaining lotion in the packet without breaking the mask seal. Scrub the applicator pad across the, the forehead, exposed scalp, and skin of the neck, ears, and throat. O. Secure and tighten the hood. P. Thoroughly scrub your hands with the lotion again, as in the steps above. Q. Assume mop level 4 by putting on protective gloves and fasten velcro. Part 3. Decontaminate your equipment using the M295 or M334. A. Open the M334 or M295 at either end where the kit is notched. Remove one M334 or M295 packet from the kit. Open an M334 or M295 packet at a notch on the packet. Remove the individual wipe from the packet and unfold completely. Decontaminate all contaminated individual equipment by wiping the surface using sweeping, sweeping motions away from the body. Take care not to spread contamination to any, surface, to any area that has been visually determined clean. Note, M334 individual wipe may leave behind a film on con decontaminated surfaces. This film may alter how certain surfaces i.e. optics, reflective surfaces, process light. Refer to the de decontaminated equipment scan for cleaning procedures as some surfaces may require specific procedures to avoid damaging the surface. In absence of the cleaning procedures, a lens cloth has been found to be an effective means of removing any film left behind by the M334 individual white. Note, the white may be folded, refolded as necessary to maximize use of the cl clean areas of the white to obtain the proper grip and to ensure even contact pressure. When wiping, pay special attention to areas that are hard to reach, such as cracks, crevices, and absorbent materials. To avoid this premature evaporation of solvent, do not open a new M334 packet until needed.
Finally, dispose of contaminated waste material in accordance with unit SOP and local and federal regulations.